Welcome back to Max VA Disability. Black Hawk Brian here with you. Today's topic, VA fraudulent disability claims. Is the VA coming for you? 100% P&T. I've got quite a few musculoskeletal issues. Shoulder, back, neck, you name it. So you won't see me out in public doing handstands or flips. You won't see me down at the gym bench pressing 400 pounds. And you won't see me climbing a 50-foot rock wall. The reason is, it's not because I don't want to get caught doing something I shouldn't, it's because I can't. The odds of the VA following you or coming for you are slim to none unless something's very obvious. You've got a neighbor that's pissed off at you, you're out doing things you shouldn't do and they know you're at 100% P&T and you're collecting a check tax-free every month and you're just doing things you shouldn't and you've said something wrong to them and now they're mad and they're going to call somebody. How do they do that? Let me show you how. So if you just do a Google search how to report somebody with the VA, it takes you to this page, Department of Veteran Affairs, Office of the Inspector General, and it's got a bunch of reports. What I found out reading this, there's a lot more reports of fraud on the side of the government than there is by the veterans. A lot of fraud, waste, and abuse. But you've been around the government for more than a day. You already know that. But if somebody wanted to call you in, there's a little hotline over here, report wrongdoing. It takes them to this page. It explains, okay, here's what's going to happen. You make a complaint to the Inspector General's office that follows up on VA fraud. Again, I don't think about this pretty much ever because I know right now if I had to go do a CMP, I would take it correctly. I know how to take the test, and I'm not at risk because I told the truth from the word go. I knew the rules. Here's one page on that same website. It talks about be a voice for veterans, report wrongdoing, fraud indicators, toolkit, and crime alerts. Goes on to say the toolkit below provides a list of key possible indicators specific to various types of fraud. The list is far from exhaustive, but it identifies common signs that VA personnel, contractors, and the veteran community, that'd be you, should be aware of in order to report suspicious activity and alleged wrongdoing to the OIG hotline. Potential indicators of fraud, compensation benefit fraud, fiduciary fraud, you can read the rest. But looking at these, the two that would probably concern you would be the compensation benefits fraud, when you open that up, it basically has a bunch of bullet points to say, hey, if you're caught doing any of these, we're probably going to look at you. But guess what? Don't do it. Under the education benefits fraud, it's primarily talking about fraud against you and against the VA. It's not really saying that you're per se going out there and doing something wrong. For instance, this bullet point right here, no books, supplies, or exams are required. The instructors teaching the class are not at those advertised. In other words, it's just a front for a school getting VA money. So you're not going to get a 15 or 20 minute video out of me on fraud. Basically, just don't do it. If you are committing fraud, I hope you get caught. I don't concern myself with others. I take care of myself, my morals, my ethics. I've always thought good things come to good people. Bad things come to bad. Like that old guy, if you're not blind, don't claim it. If you don't have tinnitus, don't claim it. On my website, maxviadisability.com, these modules, these training modules, how to start, how to get organized, how to file a claim, how to prepare for a CMP, and how to take a CMP, these are probably two that I'm focusing on right now. When I design these modules, I show you how to, to get ready for a CMP, and I show you how to take a CMP. I show you the correct way, by the rules. I never tell you to cheat because you shouldn't have to. A lot of people call the VA claims process a game. If you want to call it, that's, that's fine. But there are rules to that game. I just simply learn the rules, and I apply the VA's rules to my benefit. Know the rules. If you don't know the rules, go to my website. Well, enough said on that. I shouldn't have to talk about that anymore. Again, if you've got busted knees, don't be caught winning the Boston Marathon. In my next video, Blackhawk Brian, out. Here's one that you may want to read up on. Fiduciary fraud. VA's fiduciary program was established to protect veterans and other beneficiaries who are unable to manage their financial affairs due to injury, disease, or age-related issues. Fiduciary fraud involves the theft of benefits by a VA-appointed fiduciary to manage VA beneficiaries' finances in their best interest. Indicators of potential violations include the following. And I'll let you read through these. I'll leave a link to all these websites uh, below in the description. But in other words, if you're in this category or you've got a family member or a friend, check up on them. Make sure that everything's on the up and up. 